everyone in this video we're going to set up a loading screen how it has to function between scenes and basically just a really easy setup for your game before we get started I'd like to thank all of my patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support so for this video we'll be using a rather cheap loading screen asset um, I think it's five dollars it's in the mega bundle that's how I uh, how I actually found it so I had to sign out because I already have the have the bundle there's a ton of stuff in there a couple more related to the um, OS's but in general this um, um, this developer actually has a lot of really cool uh, UI assets um, you know I actually own several of these I haven't really used them uh, all that much yet because I'm just not often in that stage of my uh, of my game yet um, but the loading screen studio is actually, you know, it's five dollars. It's really cheap, and it's uh, basically has a manager which allows us to, uh, you know, to have a couple of things in there that normally would just take you a bit of time to set up. And there's nothing wrong with doing that yourself. Obviously, if you can code all of that yourself, the better. Um, but you know, for five dollars, I mean, you know, nothing's really holding me back for five dollars. So let's get started. So once you've loaded Loading Screen Studio into your project, you also need to make sure TextMesh Pro is installed. Now you can go through the package manager. I actually had it pop up once I, you know, open up the demo scene. It literally forced me to, um, you know, install TextMesh Pro straight away. So you know, pretty perfect. Didn't have to uh, look anything up. Now once we've done that, um, you can check out this demo scene uh, to see the standard effects. Check out the documentation if you want to customize the look for all of these. You can you know, literally customize anything. For this video, we're just going to stick with the default because it's not about you know, how you can get creative in Photoshop and create something pretty. It's about how we use this setup with Game Creator and luckily it's incredibly simple. So first up, we need to create two scenes, and I'm going to, uh, you know, create loading zero one, which is the main menu, and we're going to have our first normal scene as well. Loading zero two, there we go. So first things first, this is going to be the main menu, which will basically house absolutely nothing whatsoever. It's just going to have a canvas. Um, you know, I'm just going to make it do it like this. There we go. I'm going to add a image, which is the background to just you know block the uh, block the back here. Don't need to see that default scene. Pick whatever color. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to add one simple button. And this is going to be a game creator button, by the way. So if you check the documentation, you'll see some steps. Um, but we can definitely just use the game creator button, um, which is awesome. Uh, let's give that, um, you know, load scene. There we go. Now next up, what we need to do is we need to go to Tools, Loading Screen Studio, and add in the uh, Loading Manager. So create Loading Manager, and there you have it. Now we have some selected scenes. Yes, you can create your own. Yes, you can customize all of these. You know, just to be just to be clear, I'm uh, I'm doing futuristic. Um, we have a bunch of settings here, and again, you know, I'd recommend you to, you know, check out the documentation as to what all of this does. There's tons of options when it comes to customization, um, but we're going to keep it rather simple. Um, we're actually just focusing on getting this working, and not so much on, you know, making pretty visuals. Um, so here we have. Uh, our button and you will see um, you know add action now how do we actually access um, the loading manager and that's where we have this amazing action so just type in method and you have the call methods and this this action basically allows you to um, you know call out events 
um, from different types of assets so this can be used for a lot of different assets actually to access some properties so you can use them with game creator actions and we're going to click the little plus here we're going to drag in loading manager we're going to go to loading screen manager and do load scene there we go and we call the other scene loading 02 and that's it you know pretty plain and simple now let's uh, save this scene and the next thing we need to do is add it to our build settings now if you have a couple of the game create examples here you can literally just remove them select them all press the delete button and that's it um, and then add your open scene so loading 01 to this scene then next up loading 2 going to make this our really really plain and simple scene here um, so talking about plane we need a plane I'm going to go out of TD, 2d mode here there we go let's make this grayish it's a bit dark gray but that's fine um, we need a player character as well a camera motor um, where is it other camera motor there we go I'm not even going to customize anything here I am going to generate some lighting just so the colors are um, you know what they're supposed to be and there we have it then we do the same thing again and yeah um, you know that's uh, that's it um, we're going to hit save here and we're going to go to um, build settings we're going to add our open scene here as well and yeah let's let's just save one more time cool so let's head back to our default scene here and I'm just going to hit play now for my play mode so the game mode I set the um, aspect ratio to 16 by 9 to match uh, the canvas I had which is you know what the majority of screens will be using anyway so this is it I mean you know it's not really an exciting main menu but uh, you know this is our main menu and this is the scene we're in so we're in loading 01 we press load scene and you know obviously there's almost nothing to load so it will just give us our scene and that's it so really cool now the options you saw with the loading screen manager obviously are just the default preset options you can customize all of this to your wishes um, create entirely new ones as well the documentation is really clear and simple it just tells you basically how to do everything in regards to customization so that's really cool um, but yeah I mean that's literally how easy it is with this incredibly cheap but great asset I mean you know five dollars that's nothing yes you could you know create all of that yourself code it yourself but for five dollars I you know prefer the ease of use definitely so uh, yeah that's it that's literally all you have to do to get this asset to work it's absolutely great check it out um, you know I'll put the link in the description but you can also find it in the current mega bundle and that's it for this video so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one